Pisces, welcome into your reading. If you have clicked onto this video, first of all, thank you. Second of all, you are always spiritually guided, especially when it comes to things like tarot. Spirit is trying to communicate with you and they use people like me to give messages to you. So if you clicked onto the video, there is a message here that they are willing, wanting to give you. Okay, so let's begin. And do remember, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you do get it, you are meant to get it at the time that you receive it. Okay, so let's get started here. Ooh, I love this one. We've got full moon temple showing up here celebration peak and transcendent a transcendent moment hello transcending into what isn't that beautiful okay this this deck is so stunning if you want to know what it's called it's called the oracle of hidden worlds okay if you want an oracle deck this one is beautiful all right so the oracle of hidden worlds the full moon temple Something to celebrate, but I like um, what what got me was the peak, um, reaching the peak of the mountain, reaching the peak of your success. That's what got me, and transcend a transcendent moment. It makes me feel like something is about to shift for you here. Something is about to happen for you, um, where you are literally going to reach re the peak of your success or the peak of your your most uh, the best version of who you can be. Kind of an energy. And this is going to change things for you. So let's get into this one oracle. We're going to move to the other oracle cards a bit later. Um, let's find out what's going on there with the soul temple. Or the full moon temple. Sorry, soul temple. That could be an oracle card. I'm just saying. So the full moon temple. Love this. Also because it is the full moon, you could be looking at from the time that you are receiving this reading. Illumination happening or a cycle that's going to happen. Um, possibly the next full moon for you. Or even looking into the next 28 days. Okay. One cycle of the moon. All right. So let's see what's going on here. I love this card. I love what it's expressing. So let's have a look and see. We've got Wheel of Fortune. Wow, okay. We have got the Two of Cups and we've got the Four of Cups here. Let me take out the rest of the tarot so I don't have to turn them over later. So let's go. All right. We'll turn them over a little bit later and then we'll see what's going on there. So the Wheel of Fortune comes in here as something interesting. I'm going to get a clarifier out here. I want you to understand if the Wheel of Fortune is talking about fate or destiny. So we will know. But let's go in here. We are talking about something that is happening at a specific moment, a specific time. We are talking about something where you are moving into what you're meant to be doing or where you're meant to be going um, or who you're meant to be becoming. Because the Wheel of Fortune is tied to like things like fate and destiny, timing as well, and also things like lack of power or bad luck or even um regaining your power or empowerment okay so your life could even be transcending and that is the transcending moment right there transcending moment right there it could be transcending into a better a better life that you have now uh, you becoming a better person than who you've been not that you are not a good person it's almost like you're becoming the best version of who you can be. With the Two of Cups, you're going to get a clarifier out. This could be you either with two different situations. There could be a person coming into your life here. We have to mention it with regards to the Two of Cups that aligns with you perfectly. This can also be you falling into alignment with yourself perfectly. Um, falling also into alignment with the path that you're meant to be walking on. Loving a life that you're living in. Then we've got a Four of Cups coming in here. A bit of fear. Sometimes it's hard for me, the Four of Cups. It's um, fear of the future. Um, fear to take the cup that has been offered. Fear because we have experienced some negative things, which could be tied even to the Wheel of Fortune. It could be a time in your life now where certain negative things, which are represented by the Three Cups here, um, which is your past, which is things that have happened to you, heartbreaks that you've had, disappointments that have happened in your life, things going wrong, just all the stuff we don't like. Um, it can be literally that time ending. And if you look up here, there is a cup in the tree with a little bird on it, you know, behind the cat there. So that you could be moving into a new beginning here where things are very different. I'm also noticing something interesting. I noticed, okay, the cat sitting here is reaching up 
like reaching up and it's got the hamsa hand here almost looks like my one okay and the hamsa hand is protecting you from bad luck or evil eye or bad negative energy and again the cup that is being offered to you here that you may not know about as of yet it's sort of up in the tree so it's almost like you have to reach higher or you must go you're going to level up or something like that happening which i find very interesting let's get those clarifiers out here and find out more information then we're going to see what lies under those other two oracle cards i love this i love what i'm seeing here so far i'm feeling very happy about your reading um i really feel like things are about to get to the next level for you here or you're going to be taking things to the next level um, in your own life in every way okay it's like you're leveling up here pisces and i think i love it so much so let's go in here we have got the emperor now we know what the wheel of fortune is all about in your reading the emperor aries energy it is all about empowerment being in control of your own life being strong um independent and that's tied to the wheel of fortune so now we know you are moving into a time of empowerment in your life the emperor can be somebody in power in control such a person like a manager a owner of a company a business um self-employed person as well very successful very successful so hello karma well this is not a karma in a bad way it's dharma and it's not fate either it's destiny okay so we've got the two of cups here let's see what aligns with that the four pinnacles fear fear lack of stability worried about long-term future look how he's sitting there just holding the pinnacles tight there just holding what he's got because he's not sure about the path ahead and this to clarify with the two of cups is absolutely perfect because the two of cups talks about balance and this four pentacles is not balance okay it's fear mainly i feel like it's fear you know the four of cups for me is always tied to um fear of the future the four pentacles is tied to fear of the past you know what i mean um it's or it could be the other way around as well because the four of cups can also be tied to what has happened to you in the past and now you fear the future so basically they're kind of the same hey but this is tied to your like stability because you maybe are afraid that things in your life will not be balanced the way that you want it to be so you've got this four pentacles energy with the two of pentacles it's clarifying the fact that your life will be in alignment let's have a look and see the four of cups now and see what aligns with that And I noticed something else. I did notice the Ace of Swords under your deck. I saw it and I was like, I'm going to mention it. But now because I saw this, I have to mention it. There is an Ace of Cups. Unbelievable. It is the unbelievable Pisces. Okay. Because this is about war fear that you won't be happy in the future. Fear that you won't be cared for. Fear that things won't go your way. And you're looking at this past energy here. There's the cup and he has the cup. And it is overflowing. There is a change. Oh, I've just noticed something else. Even the moon temple. It's flat earth, guys. I'm just like, please don't go there. Don't don't anybody comment about anything like that. I don't want to know. Okay. So it's also overflowing with abundance, overflowing with emotional happiness, overflowing with talent, overflowing with you literally illuminating showing yourself to the world and i think it's going to be very good so let's see what else will come up here stargazer <gasps> set your sights higher first of all we're looking at the four pinnacles we're looking at the four of cups here we are looking so you may also be looking and worrying about finances and how they're going to be moving forward you could also be looking at the pain that you've had in your past and you're focusing on that. Be careful what you look at. He's holding, excuse me, a telescope here. The telescope sees very, very far from a place that you're standing in right now. Okay. So you're standing here and I look through the telescope and I see over there. But I'm here. I'm not there. And whatever you are currently carrying now with you, which means whatever you look at, you're going to see that also through the telescope in the future. 
and then you will project your life and your reality in that direction. Because isn't it if I'm looking in a direction, that means I'm going to walk in that direction. I mean, we don't walk this way and we're looking that way unless you want to walk into a telephone pole. You know what I mean? So if you're projecting fear through that telescope into the future, you you can create that reality. We have to take responsibility for ourselves, meaning we create our reality by what we carry and what we focus on. Okay, so if you, they're saying set your sights higher. And I remember, I remember I saw something. I remember, where did I see it? It was this, I remember telling you guys, oh my goodness. I remember telling you about guys that both of these energies, it's higher than what the cat is. It's like the cat has to reach up to get to the hamster hand. This cat is sitting here and the cup is in a higher place than where they are. So it's almost like an elevation of your life. I love it. I love it. So that is so important. Set your sights higher. Seven of cups, two of pinnacles. Watch what you are looking at. And what do we got here? The ace of swords with the ace of swords. Watch what you are currently looking at. Set your sights higher because there's a seven of cups here. There's new direction coming in and you need to make decide what you're going to be focusing on here. Okay, because we've got this kind of like, yes, currently right now, I feel like there's a lack of stability in your life with the two of pentacles. I feel like something is out of balance where as opposed to you wanting it to be in balance, the two of pentacles would be the total opposite of the two of cups. The two of pentacles, something is out of balance, something is not going the way you want it to go, something is not really safe for you, very unstable. I think that's what's bringing up the four of cups and the four of pentacles for you. Things are not balancing out properly. Could be finances, could be life, could be just be how things are moving. It's not moving the way you want it to move, your life. And then you've got the Seven of Cups coming in here. I'm so curious to see what the clarifiers are. I feel like um, usually the Two of Pentacles will mean hold on just a little bit longer. Just keep juggling, keep balancing, keep doing what you need to do because something's going to be revealed to you. And then after that, we got the Ace of Swords here. So there is a shift coming. There is a change coming for you. And again, I'm noticing the cat is looking up okay looking higher than where you're supposed to be looking so i feel like this is you really maybe even looking at what you are looking at what is your belief and you must remember something every time you think about something specific say for instance um let's look at the card you go okay i'm so worried about money I'm so worried that in the future I won't have enough money to retire or I won't have enough money to pay the bill or I won't have enough money to pay my rent. I'm so worried. Let me just try to hold my money tighter. I'm so scared. That means what you are looking at, it's your belief. Because if it's not your belief, you wouldn't be looking at it. You wouldn't be thinking about it. You wouldn't be talking about it. You wouldn't be thinking about it because it's not your belief. You're just going to be like, why would I think about that? Because I don't even believe anything like that you see so you're going to have to start looking at what it is you actually are looking at and this takes a lot of practice it takes maybe even years but is it worth it 195 percent yes because if you can change what you're looking at and you start looking at things differently your belief about life is going to change and about yourself it's going to change and that is when something changes in your reality You've got to start there. I know I'm getting um, my coffee cup coming in. I think it'll be about the 17th. On that coffee cup, um, I, you can check below. There's a spring store there. You'll see the cup, the cup I'm talking about. I've got two. Um, the one says it's the justice card on the coffee cup. And it says there, um, I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to actually hold that coffee cup. Um, it says there, um, everything always unfolds in my favor. That's my mantra. Everything always unfolds in my favor. Even when things are going weird and i don't actually like what i'm seeing in that moment like maybe something strange will happen and i'm like oh no why is that happening now and I'm like no because it may not look like it now but everything is unfolding in my favor always and it always does because i believe it to be true 
you see. Another coffee cup I've got as well is that it's the Ace of Pentacles and it's literally um, money flows to me like a never-ending waterfall because it's energy, okay? It must flow, <laughs> you know what I mean? So you have to change what you believe and what you are focusing on all the time, what you worry about, what you think about will form your belief about yourself and about your future, okay? Change, look at the happy. Oh my God. Gosh, guys. Oh, you got a new beginning. I've got goosebumps. Um, so what do you need to be focusing on? Clarifying the Ten of Cups. Focus on what can go right for you. Focus on the reality that you would like to see and not on the things that you don't want to see because you will create this. We have to take responsibility. You can take your life beyond anything that you can dream of. You can take your life to the next level all by what you focus on. And it's not going to happen like that. Remember, you have to change your energy to change your reality. And that takes time. But you keep doing it. I promise you. They, I, From my heart and soul, I'm telling you. Yes, <laughs> this is true. So you keep doing it even if you don't see it. You keep doing it anyway. You keep focusing on, you know, I'm going to have that home. I'm going to have my family in the life that I want them to be in. I am going to be in the reality that's going to make me happy. And you picture it in your mind and you think about it every single day. And I'm telling you, where your life has got some kind of unbalance, you're going to have balance. Hold on a little bit longer and refocus your mind. The nine of pentacles is the total opposite of your two of pentacles. Wait for this to come. You are going to be stepping into nine of pentacles. Strong, independent, powerful. Um, there's no financial worries there. There's no unbalance there. There's only growth. Because your life is going to be turned into a new one. And it's going to be better than what you think. The Four of Wands has come in here. The Four of Wands represents celebration. <gasps> it does. O-M-G. Okay, I haven't said O-M-G for years. Okay, so the Four of Wands is a celebration of a new reality that you are stepping into. Why I did this channel on YouTube is because I see I saw so many people when I was doing my personal tarot readings. I don't do personal readings anymore. I just don't have the time. Um, when I was before I came onto YouTube, I used to actually do them face to face. Um, I saw people stuck in this reality, and I was just like, okay. I talk to one person, and they like get it, and they go. And I was like, how can I explain this knowledge that spirit has spoken to me? to more people. So I opened the YouTube channel because I know, I know, I know, I know, okay? Like I know tomorrow morning the sun will rise. I know. I know that rain will come. I know that sun will rise. I know the wind will blow because this is nature outside here, okay? These are natural things that are going to happen. And I know every human being on this planet has the ability to create another reality. For themselves and you can do this it is coming in this is you in a new reality the four of wands means a reality a new beginning it is the 11 11 card it means you are seeing another way of life that you can celebrate and i think it's going to be better than what you think that's what i think be spirit okay now we're talking sweet results await do the work Come on, guys. It's not going to be just like that. You've got to do the work, okay? We can't just go to a tarot reading and tarot reader says to you, life is going to change. Oh, my goodness, everything's going to, you're going to have a wonderful new beginning and life's going to unfold. No, you, I'm telling you, this, I'm another kind of tarot reader. you got to do the work. Let's not play the games. <laughs> Let's not play games. You're going to have to do the work, okay? Um, get down and dirty, guys. <laughs> you're going to have to think about what you think about. Focus on what this is. And not on what this is. Because if you go here and you keep looking at those two things in your reality, it won't change. 
you, reality will not change. You are not going to get an opportunity to come in and shift things. If you do this, street results await. Let's have a look and see what comes up here. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my God. If you do this and you start to focus on something else, to put your attention onto the Ten of Cups, you will become the magician in your own life. You are going to become a maker of your own reality, okay? Where your cup will overflow and you will be in the Three of Cups, where you will be happy in the life, joy, celebration, happiness, surrounded by the people that share this reality with you. Happy. Okay, there's your happy, happy card right there. And you will be different. You're going to be different on an emotional level inside of you. Because the page of cups is almost like a reborn energy or a new start. But it comes up here as you being different in some kind of way. You're shifting your energy in some kind of way. It's so amazing. Yeah, King of Cups clarifying your magician. The shadow side, which is the devil card in the normal tarot and the nine of swords. We have to look at the shadow side. They're going to bring up that energy, okay? With this coming in here, we've got the King of Cups together with your magician. Focus on what it will be that is going to make you happy. Put your energy and your attention into a reality where you are happy to be there. And it's, it's just classic that Spirit Guide brings up the Three of Cups, the Page of Cups with the Shadow Side energy. The Shadow Side is all like the negative sides of our reality, meaning that even what you look at, it's your own shadow side. We all have a shadow side where, you know, it's not the best version of who we can be. Um, my worst version of who I can be, and I speak from experience about this, is going down the rabbit hole. That's my shadow side. So I talk to you from a place of understanding. I used to call this going down the rabbit hole, where all of a sudden I wake up one morning, you know what I mean? And I just go down the rabbit hole to there. And I'm like, I'm going deep, guys. I even take a spade down that rabbit hole. And I'm like talk, thinking about things that happened in the past. And my ego lost its mind. And it just goes even more deeper. And I think about the future. And if things have gone wrong in the past, and definitely things are going to go wrong in the future. And oh my goodness, it's a good thing I take a spade with me so I can dig myself out. Like two days later, I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. Because now I focus on what will make me happy. The reality where I know I'm going to be good. And I just keep my focus there. So watch out for the shadow self here as you move into your happiness. And again, they're going to say this to me. Okay, somebody out there, what is blocking you from actually becoming somebody else who feels emotionally different is what is happening in the Nine of Swords. Okay, which is somebody laying on their bed just like uh, you know, oh my goodness. So we're looking at the moment in your life. If you've been on my channel before, comment below. How are you? How long have you been here? You know, um, you have heard me mention this before. If there was one thing I can say to you and I can never say anything else again, it's about the nine of swords and it's about the shadow self energy because that's also another time when you go down the rabbit hole. When you go to bed at night and you put your head on the pillow and you start to think about what happened to you when you were five years old and what your parents did or what the bully in school did to you. And then you start thinking about what happened to you next, the worst other thing that happened to you. And then you start thinking about what happened to you yesterday and what happened to you this morning and it's just horrible and that's the line of swords. And then all of a sudden you start projecting now. You start projecting into the future and you're like, oh my Oh my goodness, what's going to, oh no, oh no, that's terrible. Oh, that's going to happen also. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And it just goes, like it hasn't even happened, but you're projecting it because you're feeling it from the past, you know, and that will prevent you from getting into the page of cups. In this moment, that's when you create the page of cups. Because when you go to bed at night and you put your head down on the pillow, never think about bad things. Imagine 
yourself as you wish yourself to be. Picture yourself over and over and over again in the same scenario. Choose anything. Maybe you picture yourself getting the perfect job, walking into your dream home. Imagine that instead of imagining. Get to the shadow self energy. Imagine that instead of imagining that. Okay? Take control there of that energy and just pull your mind back again and stop your brain. Tell it to sit down and be quiet and let's do it as it's told. Think about where you want to see your life going. That's why you have to have the Seven of Cups here. And this is the most important time. If you can't do it any other time, use pull your energy at this time. Make sure you think about your, yourself in a situation that you want to be in. Say, let's use the example of you buy your dream home and you own it outright. You don't even owe a bond. Okay, imagine that. Why not? Imagine that. Okay. And you go there, you pull up in front of the house. You have the keys in your hand. You put it in the door lock and you unlock it and you open the door. And you just see the space in front of you and it's perfect. It is exactly what you dreamed it to be. And you walk into the house and you breathe in the air. And you just look around. And as you turn around and look out the door, the moving truck comes there and all the people jump out the back and they start moving your furniture into this new home. Picture that every single night as you go to bed and over and over and over again until you sleep and do it every night. Take a bit of a break for a couple of days and then go back again, maybe three days. Three days on, three days off. And do it over and over again. And that is when reality is going to change for you. Pisces, <laughs> thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for staying with me through a 31, about a 30 minute reading. Thank you. If you are at the end of this reading, this energy is more aligned to you than anything. It is truly your path, especially when you get to the end of the reading. That is the moment when things are your is in your alignment, and so it is your path that you are walking. Congratulations. I'm sending my absolute love to you as I always do. I will see you next time. Bye.